Well, th thank you all for being here. You know, I don't know about you, but last night I listened to the President's speech, State of the Union, and then the response to it. And a couple things came out. Clearly the focus on creating jobs, building an economy, not only in the short term but in the longer term. And then also the aspect that sometimes we lose the handle of, and that is how do we actually get things done? How do we bring ideas for fruition? And I can't think, to be truthful with you, a better setup for today than those talks yesterday. Because what the Texas Institute is all about when it comes down to it is creating jobs, opportunity, and improving the competitive position, not only of North Texas, but also of our entire nation. One of the challenges that we've had, and this comes through time and time again, is the issues of sustainable technology. How do we use our energy better? Not only for the benefits from an environmental standpoint, but also importantly from a national standpoint, a national security. What hopefully the Texas Institute will do is to create jobs. Create jobs by bringing companies to North Texas. And those companies will bring ideas and then take those ideas to commercialization. You know, we've talked an awful lot about the idea of creating green jobs. That's on the, the focus an awful lot now. But what we sometimes forget is that doesn't magically happen. As John said, we're competing in a world that's a very difficult world today, with nations that are targeting this, making major investments in it, and in some cases putting more money in it than perhaps the United States will. But the United States has an advantage that those other countries don't have, and that's called innovation and the creativity, unleashing the resources that we have. And here in North Texas, we have so many of them. We've got universities, companies, individuals. If the Texas Institute can bring all of those pieces together, focusing on these key areas, then into the future we will have a competitive position. And this talk about green jobs and opportunities, it won't be just talk, it'll actually be results. And that's what's so special. It also builds on this idea of the can-do. I hope what you're seeing in all of North Texas now is a spirit that we can accomplish things. You're seeing it in Fort Worth, you're seeing it in Arlington, you're seeing places like Garland, Frisco, all over. There's a real attitude today that although maybe there's challenges in our country, Texas can be a leader. We've seen it, unfortunately, in other industries where biotechnology really moved to the East Coast. We saw it in the technology where that moved to the West Coast. Well, as we look out to the future and think about these sustainable technologies, we should have the competitive strength of the United States right here in North Texas. And the Texas Institute is another step in that. It's also a great indication of how we can all work together. I think the best indication of that is look around the room, see the mayors that are here, that have individual interest in their cities, but understand that the real success of North Texas is going to be all of us working together. And you see leaders from educational institution, leaders from the industry, all coming together, understanding that if we work together, we can build that competitive advantage. And in doing it, we'll create the jobs, create the opportunities. And when we do that, we'll show again that there's no better place to create business and commerce than in Texas. That's what we want. Long into the future, we want all of this talk of the opportunities on sustainability green technology. We want that to be focused here in Texas. That's what the Texas Institute does. It was a, seems a long time ago now that John walked into my office and laid this idea out. This idea that I think probably better said than an idea was a dream at that time. But what you're seeing today is because we've got people like John People in our community, they're saying, you know, not only am I interested in doing well, I want to do good. And I want to reach out and make sure that throughout this region, throughout this country, we're creating jobs, we're creating opportunities. And that's really what the conversation that John and I had was. And out of that has come this opportunity. There's going to be an awful lot of work to be done. This is really the starting point. It's not the end point. But if we all work together, we understand bringing together the resources is going to benefit, of all, benefit us all, then all of a sudden we are going to see. North Texas is going to be in the forefront. And it's going to be a forefront in creating jobs, creating opportunities, and in industries that are going to make a difference, not only to us here in North Texas, but to the entire country and to the world. And that's where we want to be. John, thank you for what you're doing. Thank you to the board for getting together, rallying around the idea. And I can tell you that the other mayors and I are behind you. We want to do everything we can from the public sector understanding that the private sector is really where we're going to succeed. Thanks, John. It's a great idea. I think it's going to be a terrific idea. Now, again, this is the start of it. There's a long ways to go. But hopefully it will provide an opportunity for businesses to relocate, for businesses, universities, educational institutions to get together and really see if we can't find some solutions for some of the energy and sustainability challenges that we have in this region 
and on a national basis. And hopefully we can do it in ways that are going to take those ideas, commercialize them, and provide jobs and benefits and opportunities for our people. And Mayor Flick said something about regionalism, which was, was really significant. Talk a little bit about why that is so important. Well, I, th I think you're seeing the idea of regionalism um, really come into its own. You know, the reality of it here in North Texas, we all need to work together. People from the outside think of as a region, we need to be more attuned to that. We also have to understand a lot of the challenges, be it creating jobs, transportation, air quality. Those solutions are going to take all of us working together. And I think that's at the core what regionalism is. It's just understanding that we've got a strong economic engine here, trying to get as many benefits out of it, and understanding to get that, we're all going to work together. And a partnership, all of this, you could know without partnerships. Partnerships are a large part. You know, you see it right where we are in downtown Dallas, not too far from here. You've got the Performing Arts Center. That's clearly a partnership that's pulled in a lot of different parts of our community. Uh, you see it in terms of all the economy that's coming in uh, here in the downtown area between the public sector and the private sector. So those partnerships are really the key. And I think in North Texas, what really sets us apart is partnerships. So willing for the public and private work together, so many different companies to come together, educational institutions to be part of the equation, all of them working together and hopefully contributing the best of what they have to offer for a sum of a whole that's going to be a much better. And one of the key points you made was about sustainability and jobs, which is number one in people's right. mind now. Let's talk a little more well, about Everybody this. talks about that. We've got to create jobs and they've got to be green jobs and that sort of thing. Well, the rhetoric's nice, but we have to understand that to do that, we're going to have to come up with innovative ideas, we're going to have to structure them right, we're going to have to make sure that we look at it from an industry standpoint, and that we're competitive, not just versus other, na na other parts of our nation, but on a worldwide basis. Those are all things that we've got to do. So that's what it all comes to, is pulling it all together and hopefully producing benefits that will be not only serve the nation well, but also serve the world well, and hopefully in the, in, in the midst of this, create a real opportunity for us here in North Texas. One more, and just talk a little bit about the Green Building Ordinance. Well, I, I think that's one of the great successes. Not only are we the first large city to step forward and said comprehensive green building is important, but it's the way we did it. Most cities have ended up with great conflicts between the public and the private sector, between businesses and government. And the reality of it is, we work together. Another great example of partnerships. It was the public working together with the private. And in fact, when we passed it, you saw, unlike other areas of the country, that everybody came together, everybody knew how important it was, everybody contributed, had ownership on it. So when it went through, its question is, okay, now how do we get the most benefit out of it? We didn't have the conflicts. And we've got to do that. We, we've got to find ways in this state, in this nation, to work better together.